Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a quick project share of these gumball machine shakers that I made for Scrap Diva Designs. I'm a guest design team member for the month and Erica who is Scrap Diva Designs. If you don't follow her already, please follow her on Instagram and YouTube. Her Instagram is scrapdiva.29 and her YouTube channel is scrapdiva29. And definitely follow the hashtag Scrap Diva Designs on Instagram for inspiration. So let me just show you really quickly the dies that I use in my project. So the gumball machine is using this Easter gumball machine set and she issued a Halloween add-on a couple months ago. So my shakers use confetti that's made using this add-on set. And she recently sent some new dies and these are the Halloween words dies. It has words like boo, spooky, Halloween, um, let's see, candy, October, scary. So this is a nice script font and I really, really love it. And I use that in my projects. And the other die I use is this spooky die that has like a cobweb and a tree and some bats in it. So let me show you the first shaker I made. And the paper I used was from Frank Garcia's 31 collection that I hauled last year. So this one I, layered on and made the shaker out of some five millimeter foam. So I did that for this candy my mechanism part and for the shaker. So you can see the pink parts in there are paper and that's made using that add-on kit. And then I added the spooky sentiment across the top along with some bat sequins. And I really liked how that came out. In the bottom left here, I just have some um, cobweb silver sequin there just to kind of give a little um, decoration to the bottom of the gumball machine. The next one I did in pink and did not use any uh, scrapbook collection for it. The pink paper I used I think is just a Michaels paper. Oh I guess I did use a bit of my scraps from the 31 collection for the gumball mechanism but in this one I just made the shaker out of foam and just going to use a combination of clay bits and sequin stars. I love the little Jack Skellington clay. Um, and then at the top on the witch's hat, I have the boo sentiment from that Halloween words die set and then a little puffy sticker from Target. And I just used a doily to decorate the bottom of the gumball machine. And then my last gumball machine is actually not very 3D except for the candy mechanism part. I decorated it with some ribbon, another puffy sticker from Target, and then I made this flat because I do plan to use it in my October daily. I also made the spider 3D as well, so I popped that on five millimeter foam. And then for the candy, I had these um, epoxy stickers and I used that as the candy. It had this nice pastel orange and lavender color and I, I liked how that um, brought out and gave the gumball machine some interest. And then I have the candy sentiment from that Halloween words collection. So yeah, that's all I wanted to share. Um, again, thank you, Erica, for inviting me to be a guest designer. And guys, please check out her website. I know she restocked quite a few things and have a wonderful day. Thank you for visiting my channel. Bye.